Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Tales of Vesperia. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten onto the other side of the cape, I guess, technically, we can call it that. Um, other side of the ocean, I guess, we could technically call it more accurately that. Okay, crab people, don't want to talk to you quite yet. Uh, or don't want to fight you just quite yet. Yeah, just like a little, it's a very small little inlet, I guess. Technically, you could call it that. Yeah, that ain't too bad. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> that covers that bit. We just got across that a while back, and now we're on the hunt for the Blood Alliance Guild, which was possibly seen going this way uh and, but once you get across this bridge the area becomes rainy and you know gloomy like this yeah kind of like this but apparently it does it when you get to the bridge anyway um we'll get to this which i think is the little destroyed by an earthquake town in question that they went to it's probably true. The Fallen City. Ker Bokrum. Man, this place is a total wreck. Yeah, kind of. Do you is. seriously think anybody would come to a place like this? To avoid the eyes of the Imperial Knights and other authority figures? Yeah, I could see that. I wonder if we've been fed some false information again. Well, I mean. Again? Again. That's far enough! This area is under the jurisdiction of the Hunting Blades. Carol, that's your cue. That voice! These measures have been taken to prevent the injury of innocent bystanders. <laughs> okay. Alright. Quick bit. Small girl, comically oversized weapon. I'm already interested. I'm also interested in that haircut. <laughs> what the absolute fricky frack is that? <laughs> what? What? Is it like a bob plus like a side bob? It's like a side pigtail, I guess, is probably the proper word. And then there's a feather in there. <laughs> I can understand the outfit. It's Kunoichi to a T. <laughs> it's just everything else. Everything else about her. <laughs> Anime! Oh, it hurts! <laughs> uh, <laughs> and this is probably Carol's uh, girl that he was talking about. Nan! Nan! There we go. Alright! I finally found you! <laughs> she does not look happy to see him. Are the Chief and Tyson with you? Have you guys been getting along okay without me? The Chief and Tyson. Don't take that buddy-buddy tone with me. Oh. Uh-oh. Aw, don't be like that. I only got a little lost. A little lost. A little lost? That's a good one. You know you just ran away. I didn't run away, I swear. Still making excuses, huh? Uh, <laughs> it's not an excuse. I beat an egg bear just like I said I would. Yeah. More lies. No, he, he actually it. did. Is this how you repay being taken in by the hunting blades? Remind me who it was that said, I swear I won't run away this time. You always run and hide at the first sign of trouble. You've been kicked out of every guild in the book. Whoa. Shut up. You shut your mouth. Whoa. Huh. Even we've all 
already fired you. Wait! You have been warned by the Hunting Blades. Leave this area at once! If you fail to heed this warning, you do so at the risk of your own lives. Gotcha. Nan! Well. What a turn. And what an exposition dump as well. Wow. This still doesn't explain what the hunting blades are doing here. That it doesn't. Good but point. At the same time, uh, Carol just had his ass blasted <laughs> by Nan. Like, just utterly decimated. Fired by every guild in the book because he had a tendency to run away. Rita, wait! Are you forgetting about the warning? I don't think she cares. She never said we weren't allowed to enter. True. We weren't allowed to... <laughs> we weren't supposed to enter because it would be a risk to our lives. She never said we couldn't. She just said that you shouldn't. Which is a legal distinction. <laughs> it's a legal distinction that absolves her of all guilt should we actually get killed but what about the risking our lives part well I mean, are you implying that i should listen to that brat don't make me laugh that brat she's probably your age if not older at any rate the blood alliance doesn't seem to be here let's have a look around yeah no they don't seem to be oh man carol's just Carol Man, fired. why did it have to end up like this? They said... They said I was f fired. Yeah. Carol, keep your spirits up. I can't be happy anymore. It's like her words are a dagger in my heart. She was Oof. just worried it'd be too dangerous for you. <laughs> There's still hope. Huh? Y you think so? Ugh, whatever. I don't care about what uh, she, she thinks. <laughs> the he problem likes is your guilt, her. Right? I get it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't care about Nan. Oh, this yeah. hurts to watch. Yeah, it does. I'm rooting for you, Carol. Uh, Estelle, come on. <laughs> Don't encourage the boy. <laughs> come on. Estelle, really? <sighs> I I'm kind of with Rita on this. <laughs> it kind of hurts to watch him play the Sundra. <laughs> on top of the fact that it is painfully obvious that he has a thing for her uh, but also fired from the guild that <laughs> told he was fired from the guild by the girl he likes oof I can feel that though I might, I might be laughing at it but I can feel that oh man that hurts Did I do something right? What sort of blastia is this? That's a good question. Hey, get your grubby mitts off it. Okay. Of course, it's slightly different from the norm, but it looks like a type of warp blastia. Warp its blastia. activating mechanism is... Let's see. Huh? What's the matter? There's no activation switch. It's properly huh. equipped with a core, and it doesn't look like it's the type where you can activate it by removing the core. Mm -hmm. So maybe there's an activation switch located somewhere else? Perhaps. Maybe. If there were another Blastia like this one in this town, it wouldn't be too unusual for there to be some device to manage all of them at once. I guess that does make oh, sense. So we can't activate it then. Too bad. Huh? Yeah. Why is it too bad? I just had a hunch it would lead to something interesting. Blastia isn't yeah. a toy, you know. A and? Couldn't we just look for the device that's managing it? True. Yes. Sure. Maybe we can find it. Yeah. You're worth a shot. To... Uh, I'm gonna do it! Well, I'd hope you would. Power, 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 power
I was just getting warmed up. Beautiful, already. Water and poison bottle. Okay. That'll work. Was this town really destroyed by an earthquake? The buildings all look kind of strange. Yeah, they don't look like they collapsed from the ground shaking. Something's weird. Yeah, so how were they destroyed then? Got me. Maybe we can find out by asking someone who used to live in the town. That's not really why we're here, though, so why should we care? You actually have a point there. Yeah, you do have a point, but, I mean, at the same time, why not? Yeah, it, I do kind of get what they mean. It doesn't look like it was destroyed in an earthquake. It looks like it was destroyed by something else. But what, I couldn't say. It does look pretty destroyed, though. I'll say that much. All right, um, <laughs> arts, no, it was items that I wanted to go to, poison bottles, yeesh, um, yeah, we'll do that, and that, just top us off a little bit, that should be fine for a while, hmm. yep, well, that didn't work. <laughs> At all. Sorry if I hurt you. Also, the fact that this is a surprise encounter so The din of this modest land. Ow. Try soul shine. Ow, ow. Also, I'm noticing the fact that Rafi's not really taking much damage at all. Oh, wait, no. He's causing less damage. There you want go. revenge? Bring it! Booyah. I got small bird feathers. I was hoping for medium, but okay. <sighs> it's fine. Paralysis bottle. Medicine that cures paralysis. Very powerful, so avoid heavy use. Huh. It's locked not with a key, but by some other means. Maybe there's a device that will release the lock somewhere. What do the hunting blades mainly do as a guild? Like their name says, they make their living hunting monsters. Mm. It's not like there's any shortage of monsters once you're outside the barriers. True. Business must be booming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they definitely get a lot of commissions. But the hunting blades aren't killing monsters just because someone asked them to. Monsters are evil. This evil must be punished. That's the creed of the hunting blades. I wonder if any of them are doing it just for their own personal grudges against monsters. Oh Probably yeah, a, few of a lot of people. Like, Nan's parents were killed right before her eyes when she was a kid. Oh, Jesus. Huh. It'd be hard not to hold a grudge after something like that. Yeah. No, that's understandable. I'm gonna segue into an anime here. Um, while the whole concept especially was fucked up in the anime, I can understand why Goblin Slayer went as insane on killing goblins as he did after seeing all of that firsthand. That makes a lot of narrative sense and it's unfortunate that that is how you know heavy-handed the author had to be to get the point across that monsters are these particular monsters goblins are fucking evil and need to be absolutely annihilated and that of course goblin slayer would then take up the mantle of doing that because they're treated as a nuisance low-level monster to everyone else that does not care when clearly they are a actual threat that need to be dealt with But that's a rant. That's an anime rant for you. Free of charge. You're welcome. Anyway. Let's move on. I already checked that thing. Oh, I was about to say, maybe I could go up the staircase. The answer is no. I cannot. 
an epe. An epe, rather. I think it's pronounced epe. Although, it's spelled weird. Is that really how it's pronounced? Rather spelled? I know how it's pronounced. I know how it's pronounced, I should say. But, um, I was pretty sure that it's spelled with a different letter in there. So it doesn't end up looking like EP. <laughs> like it looks right now. That's an epe, which is an archetypal rapier, which is actually kind of sh on the shorter side, I think, it's supposed to be. <sighs> I don't remember too much about uh, rapiers, unfortunately. Uh, it is designed specifically for piercing. It is more useful than it looks. Well, I mean, for piercing? Yeah, absolutely. This was the common renaissance uh, sidearm weapon of the... Common folk ish. Well, middle upper class, but still. Um, I forget, is the Epe smaller than the average rapier? Or. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. Uh, I'll figure it out eventually. Still, it uh, looks like a decent weapon for Estelle. Uh, speaking of which, look into that. Oh. It would knock down her TP, but it would give her a drastically higher physical attack, defense, and magic attack. Plus would let her have strength, defend, and anti-break. But, it would be after she goes through the Morning Star, for sure. Gladius so far is what she has to learn through first before we move on to anything else. That said, didn't go into this. Okay. Again, another door that's locked by other means other than a key. I was going to try and hit Just it again. Just go away! I don't even know what these are. Holy... What? The what? I kind of want to see what they are. Not ah, equipment. I meant to go to items. Dumbass. Uh, magic lens. Strange bat. Yeah, I'd say strange bat. <laughs> this is like straight out of Kingdom Hearts. What the fuck is... <laughs> the hell is this enemy design? Okay. It's weak to air and fire, but resistant to water, which makes sense because it looks like a fucking umbrella, which is why I got heartless design. Ah, oh boy. Okay, anyway. Still, I could use that. There we go. That. There we go. It's being the only. No, it's not. Why did you even try it? You didn't think go. I was that strong, did you? Uh-huh. Not you didn't think I was that strong. Mm -mm. I'm like ten. Mm. A straw hat. A round hat. Be careful not to lose it on windy days. Monkey D Luffy, is that you? <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm thinking back on the anime. I think the English dub voice might be one of the voices of the guys in this game. And I think it might be Carol. <laughs> I think that might be the voice actor. I don't know. I don't know. But I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling. Straw hat. Really? A straw hat gives you more physical defense and magical defense than an actual piece of armor. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's not how that works. That's not how any of this works. 
No. <laughs> no. Nah, uh Not happening. Mm-mm. Nope. Nah. -uh. You're you're not convincing me of that. Wait, I could put that on. <laughs> I could put that on repeat. Okay. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Okay. Sure. What is this about anyway? I have no idea what this is about, but it looks interesting. And it's something I'll probably have to pay attention to. Okay. Haha! -ha! Got what I needed. Don't get sloppy! Well, about that. Sloppy is kind of my nature. Well, since we need to fire both of them, considering how much damage I'm doing to them, we're done. Haha! <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, of course, small bird feathers again. I feel this power inside me. Learned Reynard. Hey! Repeat, learned the skills. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, not what I meant to do. Now I can actually change what he's equipped with, because holy crap, the thing he's equipped with is so bad. Holy crap. Oh my god. Um. Would, would, would he even benefit from having magic, really? I don't think he would. So I'm kind of tempted just to give him the Kotaro. Uh, but you never know. Maybe I, he might need it. Reynard is finished. So... Increases the strength of an attack when a hammer is equipped. Okay. A cross counter and mighty charge. Okay. Okay. Almost there with item thrower almost there with exp share and same with yuri okay i can't get into that thing at all check it looks like a dead end well you should we head that. back or hold on i'm gonna have a look around uh-huh weird there's not a keyhole or anything no there's really not. Yuri, an amateur like you would never be able to open a door like... What the? You were saying... I wouldn't want Captain Carol to dirty his hands on such a filthy door. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh huh. <sighs> Reed has had enough of the well, bullshit. shall we? Can't blame her. Wouldn't it be crazy if a monster just gobbled up your foot right now? Just a giant munch and oops, no more foot. Yuri, why are you like this? What? What? <laughs> eh, looks fine to me. Let's go inside. <laughs> what am I? Your chest dummy? Yeah, yeah, actually. <laughs> test dummy for dumb jokes and silly bullshit. It's what you is. Climb down. What's this do? Get your grubby mitts off it. I don't want to have to tell you again. It seems like it might be an activation switch for the warp blastia upstairs. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Nothing's happening. No. It doesn't have enough air. Ah, that's not funny. enough. Air. I wonder if that ring I got in the Shikos ruins might be able to do anything. Oh. That was my phone. I apologize. Uh, my alarm for uh, other things went off. That ring that I got? You mean that Rita gave me? Ah, the sorcerer's ring. I'm not sure. It's worth a but shot. But you might as well give it a try. Yeah, I might as well. It seems you have done it. It worked. 
Maybe that means we'll be able to use the warp blasty upstairs. Let's go. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Is there any other thing over here? Nope, just the uh, big switch machine. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, so... There we go, got it. Uh, I'm gonna do it! Are you now? This? No, this isn't scary. Your legs are shaking. You're kidding. Yeah, I am. Finished in 10 seconds or less. Damn. That was impressive of me. Hey, repeat leveled up. Nice. I keep doing that. When I mean to do this, I keep doing that. I don't know why I do it, but I do it. Um, cooking. Cooking, 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 cooking. Maybe not sorbet. Increases magic attack slightly. For fried chicken and fries. And Salisbury steak it increases attack slightly. And sandwich restores HP. I don't see why not. Let's do it. Ha ha! Beautiful. That worked out wonderfully. And I guess we go back to the thing. Ah, you little. I'm gonna make you work. Yep. Destruction. There we go. Ow. No, that didn't help at all. There we go. Ow. Yeah, I was just getting warmed up. All right. Well, we managed it. Long needle, soft tail, syrup bottle. That's nice, but I can do so much more. Well, at least you learned the thing. Now I can move you off of that. Okay. To the leather whip. Okay. And it increased magic attack, physical attack, and physical defense. Alrighty. Rita's the dominatrix now. Okay. Alright. A whip thought to be used for torture. One slash can rip one's skin and flesh. Yeah, that's kind of what they were good with. Okay, check this thing. Oh, it's working. Nice. So that was the activation device after all. Lucky. Then hurry up and... Hold your horses. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That might have been slightly overkill, Rita. I mean, I get your... <laughs> get your point. But also, that might have been just slightly overkill. This is just like in the Shikos ruins. If you don't fill up the core with air, it won't work. Ah, mm. so I should use the sorcerer's ring. Yes. Right. Okay, so doing... So to make it work for the trip I'm intending on doing, I need to use the ring for that. Okay. Huh? Move to the left, to the right, and forward. Okay. Uh huh. Let's try the left. Oh. Interesting. So I'm assuming uh, moving forward is the ideal. That was not straightforward. Metaphorically and literally. <laughs> that was not straightforward. Okay, well. Piece of cake! Don't get careless. Yep. Dragon over! Holy power! Come to me! Priest of innocent Ow! Oh! 
missed that. Interesting. Okay, Birdie. You're done with this shit. I'll tell you that much. Here I go! No Capri, some innocent full power! Onward! Alrighty. That was all bad. That's fine. Hmm. These are the threads that weave our future. Learned item thrower. Nice. That was the last thing you needed to learn out of that thing. Gladius. So it was. Okay, you already learned out of the stiletto. It was Morning Star and then Epe. There we go. But then there was also skills you needed to equip where you needed spirits to increase the max TP. Vitality. Um, increases agility by 5%. Guard plus. Vitality would be nice. Far better than that, I think. Yeah, makes more sense. Magic guard. That's only for con someone controlling her, so that doesn't work. Step away. Would only work if backstep was equipped, which it's not. So. There we go. Item thrower. That'll work. Yeah. Yeah. That should work beautifully. Now, let's look at hers. No. No. Hmm. Okay. Mighty charges through the weapon. I get that. Um, critical guard. No. Guard plus. Yeah. When a hammer is equipped. Don't necessarily need that. Because guarding isn't really something he's going to be doing. Half damage, which is very good. Quarter damage. Minimum damage. Hmm. I'm assuming minimum damage would mean just one damage point each attack, I guess? I don't know. I don't know, actually. So, I'm just assuming at this point. Taunt, XP share, fill the over limit gauge, action defers from taunt to. Okay. Anyway. I forget how to do the uh, over limit anyway. It's pressing down, isn't it? I think so. Alright, eventually. Well. Eventually, it'll give me the reaction I want. Or not. Okay, well. Get in my way! Is what it is. That booty blastia of yours. It's pretty, huh? That's not what I was gonna say. I mean, could be what you said. Waterproof cloth, huh? Wonder what that would be used for. Upset missed. That was all. Don't get mess. sloppy. Ow, you bastard! Of innocent waters. Ow! Ow! You stop, please. There we go. Here I go. Them thy undefiled purity. Splash! I'll blow you away. Funny to use. 
We're so done. Use it just so I could say it was done. All right. Toad oil, <laughs> tortoise shell, long needle, and water. And soft tail. I feel power running all Ooh. through my body. I have received the title of skilled swordsman. Nice. I wonder if that gives me anything special. Skilled swordsman. One who cuts through his enemies like the wind. You're on your way. Well, at least it's working out. Okay. Is there anything I can do up there? No. Uh, huh. I guess I gotta go through this building to get to the other one. Oh, chest over here. Interesting. Limit bottle. Fills the over limit gauge fully once. Can only be used during battles. Okay. Huh. It is down here. I wonder. Oh! A little staircase. And a save thing. Tells me I might need to be saving soon. I just want to go up here, see what's up in this general direction. Apple gel, nice. And we got a cocktail dress. A colorful garment, not suitable for combat, but not bad as a piece of regular clothing. You want me to be putting Rita in a cocktail dress? <laughs> what? <laughs> and it's more? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? It actually is more physical and magical defense than the silk cloak she was wearing. Okay. Alright. I don't think I understand this game's logic anymore, but okay. A king-sized belt. <laughs> A belt of unbelievable size. Applying air makes it even <laughs> larger. <laughs> okay. Well, Rita is getting a lot of upgrades today. Magic Guard Plus. Interesting. Along with Critical Guard and Defend. It's also stronger than the Leather Whip, currently. And that's before the inevitable upgrade of the Leather Whip. I'm going to exit here. I thought I'd hit the button at the right time. I guess I didn't. Huh. Uh... See where the right takes us. Here. Interesting. So I'm gonna have to go through all of that again. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna save and then go down here, because there's probably something here. Alright, save done. Now let's go down here. I want to see what is going on down the staircase, which is a very long winding staircase. All right, I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting, okay, we're near the end. Ha ha. What? This heavy door is tightly shut. There's a complicated looking device. Better to leave it alone. Or. No. Okay. Okay. So there is a device down here. Oh, God. This. <laughs> this had to be the longest section ever. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. Okay. 
Well, I've learned my lesson. Curiosity will take forever. Okay. Now let's head back up. Whoops. And go through that thing again, but then go to the left, which is apparently what it wanted me to do. There we go. Perfect. Go to the left. Interesting. There we go. Wait, what? So it looks like the Blood Alliance. Yeah. Isn't here after all. Those guys are the hunting blades. Yet they are, and they're hunting that big scary monster I fought in the forest earlier. Th that man. We saw him in Daydon Hold. Oh? Ah, now that you mention it, we did see him. So he's the leader of your guild then. Ah, oh, this guy. He's gonna fight that monster all by himself? Whoa. What? No way, man! He took it out in one hit? That was a fatal strike! A fatal strike? It's a crazy powerful technique that extremely skilled swordsmen can use. Huh, so how do you do it? How do you do it? How should I know? That's a good point. Fatal strike. A strong attack which throws your opponent off balance. Followed by a single well-timed strike to finish the enemy. Is that something else you read in a book? I guess so. Yes, it is. Yeah, well, whenever the text box becomes a literal box, I assume that's what's actually going on. I see. It sounds like it's easier said than done. Yeah. You really want to get back into your guild, don't you? W what makes you say that? Oh. Carol, are you going to go back to that guild? I won't go back. I'm sick and tired of monster hunting. Oh. Won't go back or can't go back. It sounded like you were fired. No way. I'd been planning on leaving for a while. Mm -hmm. Is that so? Well, no matter then. Yeah, no point. So, uh, in let's get over going. spilled milk then. Well, I'm glad you're staying with us, Carol. Anyway, what do you think they're doing with such a large contingent? Yeah. Good point. If they wanted to take out that monster we saw, one person would have been enough. Well, I mean, if he had that skill, yeah, this is one actually the is first enough. time I've ever seen this many guild members gathered in one place. Really? Really? Yeah. A lot of the members are loners. They tend not to travel in groups. Ah. Uh, and makes the sense. chief being here is out of the ordinary too. Curiouser and curiouser. And plot thickens. You wanna follow them and see what they're up to? Nah, that sounds interesting, but I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. He's looking for members of the Blood Alliance after all. Right, Yuri? Yeah, I don't wanna worry about two guilds. One is more than enough. Yeah. Fair point. Oh, I can actually go across that. <laughs> okay. That was shenanigans. Could you be any more of a pain? Yes. Okay. What the what? Where? I think I'll try to do that thing. That thing? That fatal strike thing. You can't just imitate what you saw and hope it'll work. Yeah, I can. Hey, I won't know if I can until I try. How did it go again? Uh, this is anime we're talking uh, about here. Of course first, we can do it. First, you go and attack the enemy to throw it off balance. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty? Ah! Add an attack and prepare for the fatal strike. Azure! I see it. Huh? See what? I see my opening to attack. Press right trigger to trigger a fatal strike. I'll finish you! Oh! Yuri, that was amazing! Nah, I was just copying what I saw. 
I didn't think it was the sort of thing you can just copy like that. I guess it is. Well, you need a little skill, but it's not really that hard. You think yep. you do it while watching me? No way. It takes a skilled swordsman to do something like that. Which I currently am. I know that. Yeah. But Carol, you're not as bad as you make yourself out to be. I'm... I'm not? You too, Estelle. Yeah. R really? All right, let's go. <laughs> I love how there's no mention of it to Rita. That's fair. The amount of XP, LP, as well as item drop rates increases when you defeat an enemy with a fatal strike. Azure Wolf Strike! The strike of the Dino Hardest Land! Starblast! Yo! Go! Destroy Rock! Rock them thy undefiled purity! Splash! Wow. That was fun. Yuri, you're awesome! I guess. Toad oil, soft tail, syrup bottle, yep. A new page has been added to the battle book. Oh, hey! I only just noticed this thing was here. So, okay. Fair enough. There's also this stuff over here. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. This looks easy. Don't let him trip well, you up. Yo! Destroy it, Rock! Oh, oh come destroy destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. That's no good! Yo! Holy power, come to me! Okay. Your first aid! Holy power, come to me. me! First aid! Oh, come on. Take this! Azure Wolf! Drag it over! I'm trying to do it. And Put out it's your hand. not working out. Like this? Yay! What, what was that? I feel this power inside me! Learned cross counter and magic. Nice. Well, that takes care of those things. Also, there's a chest here. Apple gum. Me? Apple gel, rather. <laughs> Meant to say. Interesting. Alright, well. So far, so good. What do we got going on here? Oh, come on. Really? I see. There we go. A purple ribbon infused with defense properties. Okay. <sighs> Why am I not surprised that it increases magical defense? <laughs> I could equip it on repeat too. Well, I already have Rita in the cocktail dress. I might as well just put on a purple ribbon for her. <laughs> Why not? Alright, and check. Password clue. A research note found in Care Buckram. The word sky is written on it. Okay. Password clue. I didn't even know I needed password clue. What? All right. Welp. So far, so good, I guess. I can go in here. Um, a holy raven. A sickle said to lead lost souls to heaven. So, my dog just becomes a Shinigami. Is that what you're telling me? Three prints of a legendary raven are marked on the blade as a symbol. Hmm. Well, uh, let's see. Yeah, he's already learned Tamahagane's whole thing. And that of Kotaro and Kogarashi. The Holy Raven. He's got Dash, and it's significantly stronger and more agile, but you lose out on physical defense and magic attack, which don't really don't really need that too bad. So I guess that's okay. Alright. Fair enough. 
Estelle the Historian. Wow, these buildings are from the late Elechasm civilization. It must be a very old town. You seem to know a lot about these things, as always. It's such a shame they just let this city fall apart like this. Do you really think we're in any position to be sightseeing around this moldy old city? We do have things we need to be doing. Then shouldn't we be focusing on them instead of this little tour? Oh, wow. That round roof is using the Leon method first developed by Emperor Heliorus IV. Oh, boy. But I guess we should do something about that first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but she's just having fun, guys. Come on. Orange gel. I kind of needed one, so that works out. No other... Special things I need to be taken care of, okay. Well. Interesting, that over there. Move to the right. Ah. Alright, cool. Surugi. Replica of an ancient double-edged sword. Don't underestimate the damage it can inflict. And I'm almost done learning the skills from the knight sword. Ooh! Swords up and strength. Okay. And it does a lot of physical attack and magical attack. It just lowers physical defense a little bit. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. That don't... that don't help at all. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's gonna be a problem. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Don't get in my way! Alright, well, I'm going to slowly make my way to a save point. It is slowly getting to the point where I'm going to Ha! I did it! First strike! Take out an enemy with a fatal strike. Master this technique to take advantage of battle. We finished them off. Nah, I get it. I finished them off. Huh? Nah, I did it. I was the one who did it. And I got a fatal strike used. Hell yeah. Ooh yeah. And a chained bonus. Huh. Built like a maze. Hmm, how interesting. Estelle looks as interested in cities as always. Yeah. Estelle, come on, let's stick together. I'm fine. The buildings are run down, it's overgrown, and this place is seriously built like a maze. With all these obstacles in the way, it's pretty tough to go where you want to go. Yeah. Huh? Estelle! Sorry, I got sidetracked. I you thought don't I just say. said to stick together. Exactly. You all need to be more careful. I've never seen anyone get lost so easily. She's she's excited. Come on, man. Let her be. And oh, 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 whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, there we go. I'm gonna head to a save point and I'm gonna end the episode. Sounds good to me. Okay, this is good. Okay. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Yeah, not exactly. Hmm. Okay, sure. New skill and new title. Defend, Critical Guard, and Grand Mage. Well. Oh. And I cannot get down easily. Now oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, or maybe I can. Okay. Wait, well, I didn't have a chance to ask you this, but... You mean me? Why didn't you return to the capital when we were in Torum Harbor? Why? Oh, yeah. Still wanted to tell Flynn that he's being hunted, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. at that point, your journey should have ended. Well, True. uh, you see... Hey, by the way, who was hunting Flynn down anyway? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Okay. Wasn't it Rago? Huh? That villain? Yoder was on Rago's ship, and Yoder's the Imperial Prince. 
Yeah, so... I'm saying that I think Flynn's true mission was to find Yoder. Though I don't know why things would end up that way between big shots from the same empire. True. I'm sorry. I don't know either. Clearly. Well, that's okay. But what about you? You're baffled about you sure you don't want to go back? Well, I kind of just went with the flow and came along from Torum Harbor. But I think maybe I wanted to keep traveling with everyone a bit longer. So, uh... Okay. Besides, we still haven't gotten the Blastia Corps back yet. True. That's true. But isn't that my business? Can't I help out? I don't see mm, why not. Yeah, sure. Feel free to come along. Thank you. Well, that worked out that way. Explains a lot. So, yeah. Now it's time to save again. But... I will be doing that on my own time. I'm ending the episode because, wow, it went on for far too fucking long. Sorry. <laughs> I just got so invested in, uh, you know, figuring out how this town works. And uh, I think I got the gist of it. Also, uh, I think I got the gist a little more of the story than I did when uh, I was still confused last episode. So, there's that. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and working on trying to get through this maze of a town. Well, maze of a ruined town. And uh, grabbing what cool stuff we can along the way. And also leveling up skills. I'm taking pretty much every opportunity I can to do that because I feel like we're going to need to get big when we're uh, getting uh, <laughs> getting further into the game. We need to become giant uh, when it comes to stats. So we'll have to work on that for you.